Hello, my name is Ben Roland. In this video, we are going to set two SEL 3061 cellular routers for secure communications between two laptops. By the end of this video, we will be able to ping this laptop from this laptop over secure cellular networks using VPN tunneling and firewall rules. This laptop, which we'll call side A, is configured to speak to this router over just an ethernet port. On this side, we have a similar setup with a router and a laptop connected over Ethernet. Now, each of these SEL 3061s is going to have two distinct IP addresses. There's an IP address on the LAN side and an IP address on the WAN side. These IP addresses are going to become very important when we configure our VPN rules. So to begin, we're going to start by configuring a secure VPN between two SEL 3061s. We'll start by doing the settings on side A. To configure a VPN, we go to Configuration, Tunnel, and then IPsec Tunnels. We're going to click Add Tunnel, and then it will take you to this screen. From here, we need to give our IPsec Tunnel a name. We're going to call this tunnel Video Test. Now, the purpose of these IPsec Tunnels is to give you a trusted, secure, virtual private network over an untrusted public network. What this allows us to do is send encrypted data over that network so that we are not vulnerable to attacks on the public network. The next thing we are going to do is set the remote WAN IP address for site A. The remote WAN IP on site A is actually the IP address for the opposite router, meaning the router on site B. We're also going to type in the remote network route, which is the LAN IP address, in this case, for the remote side of the network. So we are setting site A. So what we're going to put here is the LAN IP address for side B. For a remote network mask, we are going to use 24. We're going to leave the local LAN IP and the local LAN mask at their default settings. Next, we're going to set up a pre-shared key. This pre-shared key is important, and it needs to be the same between both SEL 3061 cellular routers for the VPN to take effect. So here, I'm going to use ASDF123 dollar sign. We also have to choose a tunnel protocol. This tunnel protocol that I'm going to choose today is IKEV2. We're going to keep the Ike mode at main. Um, all of our encryption information, we're just going to leave at the default settings. So basic, 128, all of these are left at the defaults. I'm going to click Submit. And now we have configured new IPsec VPN settings for side A. Now before we move to side B, where we're going to do similar settings on the VPN side, we have to configure this device to support a forward filter rule for our traffic. So to do that, I'm going to click on Configuration security and firewall. And in the advanced firewall settings, I am going to add a forward filter rule. For my forward filter rule, I have to give this rule a name. I'm going to call it video filter. And then we get into our destination settings. Here we are entering the destination IP address. The destination IP is actually going to be the IP address for the remote side, for side B, because that is the ultimately where we are trying to send our ping traffic, is to side B. The destination mask, I'm just going to enter 24. For destination port, I'm going to use any so that it allows any type of traffic. And uh, for destination interface, I'm also going to use any. Now I get into the source settings. So ultimately, our source of this ping is going to be side A. So I'm going to use the side A LAN as my source IP. My source mask is, again, going to be 24. My source interface is any. Under general configuration, by default, uh, you're set to TCP and UDP traffic. I'm actually going to switch that to any here. And the reason for that is I want to allow my ping traffic to go over that network as well. I'm going to leave my chain and target settings at their defaults and click Submit. OK, from there, I have all my settings submitted. I need to click Save and Restart to get those settings to apply. Now that the settings for side A are complete, I'm going to do the settings for side B. I'm going to click on Configuration. Tunnel, IPsec Tunnel, and I'm going to click Add Tunnel. In this case, I'm going to give it the same name, Video Test. Next, I get to configure my remote WAN IP. So now that I'm on side B, the remote side of this link is the WAN IP from side A. So I'm going to enter that in this field here. The remote network route is the LAN IP address for side A, and the remote network mask is 24. So what I've done here is I've put the side A IP address information in at side B and the side B IP address information in at side A. What this allows us to do is target the other side of the router 
and have a secure VPN connection over the public cellular network. Now I'm in the pre-shared key settings where I have to do the same exact pre-shared key on both radios. So I'm going to enter once again ASDF123 dollar sign. I am going to use Ike V2 as my protocol. Before, I left all the other settings at their defaults and I'm going to do that again here. I'm going to click Submit and now I have successfully changed or added an IPsec tunnel between these two devices. To configure a firewall filter rule on side B, I'm going to click Configuration, Security, Firewall. I'm going to be in the Firewall Advanced Settings and I'm going to click Add Rule under Forward Filter Rules. Now I'm in the Firewall Configuration page where I need to add a name to my filter rule. I'm going to call this Video Filter. So in the Destination Settings, I'm going to configure my destination IPs to be my Side B LAN IP address. My destination mask is going to be 24 and my destination port will be any and my interface will be any. My source settings are going to be my IP addresses for side A. My source mask is again going to be 24. My source interface will be any, my source port will be any, and my Mac will be any. Under general configuration, I'm going to leave all of these at their default settings, except for the protocol, which I will again change from TCP UDP to any. Now I will click submit and I have successfully configured my forward filter rules to allow traffic to move from side A to B. I'm going to click Save and Restart, and after the reboot, we will have all of our settings complete and we will be ready to run our test. Okay, now that we have all of the settings complete on both of our SCL 3061 routers, we're going to be able to run a ping test where we ping the laptop on side B from the laptop on side A. Before we get into that, let's walk through the dashboard a little bit more. You'll see now that the VPN uh, light is lit up, indicating that we have a secure VPN connection between the two cellular routers. So we know that while we're passing this IP traffic as part of the ping test, it is secure. I'm going to open up a command prompt and I am going to ping side B from side A. So what I'm going to do is type in ping 192.168.3.11. This is the IP address for the laptop on the other side of the network. Click enter, and we should see replies from the other side, and we have. So we pinged it four times, and we've got four replies. You'll notice that because of the forward filtering rules and because of our SPI firewall feature, that it does allow the response traffic to come back. Uh, so not only can we ping it in one direction, we can actually get the responses from the other direction as well. We've now configured these two SEL 3061s for secure communications over a cellular network. Providing secure communications to downstream devices is a great way to improve your operational efficiency. With these devices, you can now access end-of-line devices for SCADA, engineering access, or even control functions. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at www.selinc.com.